Like that. Because you know about the stone shoe, you know who you're standing about. Yeah. This is gone now. Let's take now Psy King standing about. Okay. Yeah. Gosh. In the. I'm just looking at the suits. The 50s maybe? 47, 46. 47? 46. Okay. Yeah, yeah, gosh. I'm going to date it. 46, that one was. Right, and these, these are people you knew at the time, a gang of friends. Yeah, they're all, uh, they're all friends. He's gone, he's gone, he's gone. A lot of them are dead. Right, right. Very sharp seats there. Very nice seats. <laughs> was at the time, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, you went there for what? You know, just for fun? Oh, I no, I was, I was, uh, I was into physical fitness. You know, right. I right. used to do... I used to do all the gymnastics off the board, the one and a half somersaults and the hikes mm -hmm. and all that sort of thing, you know. So swimming was part of your regime? Yeah. Spent a lot of time there with it. That's uh, well, was it. Was it free to go and use or did you have to, did you, you pay to go? I had to pay, yeah. Oh yeah. That's another one, another one. Just outside the baths. Yeah. 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 We, we used to do, because uh, today physical training is all the rage, you know, uh, you know, they're told by the government to sort of do, is it half an hour every day, and I mean, well, uh, were, were, I was were you on your own then, or, you know, were lots of I people... I was selected from the, from the settlement club, the youth club, mm -hmm. myself and two others were selected from there, you know, have you heard of the NABC? No. Nas National Association of Boys Clubs. Yes, I have. Yes, they're out well, on the um, the liquors, aren't they? They're, they're I, I, I don't know where they are now. But I was selected to go on a, a physical training course up to Berwick on Tweed to Ford Castle, and and the three of us went to Ford Castle, and um, we we did all the things, physical things you do, like archery, and then shoot the bow and arrow, throw the javelin, and shot the great opportunity, and mount, I mountain know. climbers and all yeah. that. Yeah. I, was, I was 17 at the time. Right, right. Yeah, 17 at the time. And it was a wonderful experience. Yeah, great opportunity. But, but I, what I was sort of interested in is whether, you know, it was common to be really into keep fit in those days or into the scene of it. You know, uh, uh, um, I, don't, I don't think it was so sort of prevalent as it is today because people you see, had time and money to do it. Yeah, you had, see, today you've got all these gymnasiums that we never had. You know what I mean? You can join these gymnasiums, can't you? And they've got the, these, all this uh, pulley equipment. We had to use the old uh, iron for. for uh, weight training and bodybuilding, proper iron discs, you know. And the, uh, what is it, the club just helped you do that, help you do that? Yeah, they, they, the they, training they. equipment in the office. Well, that's the, that's the funny after the, that's taken at the settlement club. Right. In the settlement. Yeah. That's me at the back there. Uh -huh. That's my friend who I did the boxing with. He actually was more into boxing. He was, Walter, he's well known in this area, Walter. He's dead now, mind you. But he was, he was quite a prominent uh, boxer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He, he, he was, he was, he won quite a few titles, and uh, he was, you know, you've seen on television boxing. And when you were learning to train, were there sort of um, the head guards and no, the mouth guards? No, never had no, he never had any stuff. Not like that. No. Not like they do today, no. Is that wooden panelling at the back? Yes, on the uh, on the walls. Right, yeah. right, right. And wooden yeah. flooring there? Yeah, wooden flooring. A high, a high ceiling? High ceiling. Was um, there a high ceiling there? Not just sort of trying to picture it in my mind. Not particularly, just no, ordinary, no. ordinary um, ceilings really. Oh, but these the thing was, these guys that used to train the youth, mm -hmm. the younger boxers, right. a lot of them were punch drunk. 
They were, they were, they were actually punched him. You know, he, Tommy wasn't. Tommy Barley was not actually. He was not punched him, but a lot of them were. I, I mean, I've had trainers, you know, that have been punching. Because bear in mind that they come from a harder school. There was more. Like today, you can't get punched on. They used to have cauliflower ears, these guys, and busted noses and yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. And they used to get knocked about, and they were actually punching. Because there wasn't the strict medical supervision as there is today. Right, right, right. So. Uh, yeah, and you were going to show me this uh, one. That's, that's actually.